Vividcast is New Blue's revolutionary new streaming software that allows you to enhance your live videos with a unique set of creative tools you won't find anywhere else. The built-in graphics, streamlined interface, and integrative capabilities give you a professional edge regardless of your skill level. Today, we will briefly discuss the main features of Vividcast and then walk you through the product in order to see how it fits into your current live broadcasting workflow. A good live broadcast is more than just video feed. Graphical elements such as logos, lower thirds, crawls, and infographics all work together to tell a story with every show. By including a library of graphic templates suitable for a variety of purposes, as well as the design software for editing them, Vividcast puts the power of 3D animated data graphics directly inside the streaming software. These days, live streaming is becoming increasingly popular. Whether you have been in the broadcast industry for 30 years or you are a complete novice, Vividcast makes it easy to start and operate a live broadcast by keeping its features clean, intuitive, and user-friendly. What you see on your interface is what you need, and everything else is accessible through the easy-to-understand step-by-step setup menu. Switching and graphics are two elements of a professional broadcast, but of course they aren't the only two. With a host of built-in data graphics settings, Vividcast acts as a hub for all the tools an operator could need. Call in social comments instantly, drive data from external files, and host on-stream video conferences with ease. Now let's take a look at the main interface to get a better feel for how all of these features work together. The first thing you will see is a window prompting you to start a project, open a recent project, or select from a list of template projects. After making a selection, you will be shown the main interface of Vividcast. The screen is divided into four main windows, two side panels, and a menu bar. In addition to the standard file menu, the menu bar is where you can select a local output for your broadcast, start streaming and or recording, and has a resource monitor. If you intend to use Vividcast to output graphics to your video calls, select Virtual Webcam from the drop-down. Now, Vividcast's output will appear as an option when selecting a camera in programs such as Zoom, Skype, Slack, Microsoft Teams, and more. The live output is where you will see what your broadcast looks like. The panel to the right is the master control for your audio levels. The video switcher is where you can click a video feed to send it live. Clicking on a graphic in the graphics panel will display it in the graphic preview window, and its associated controls will be displayed in the graphic controls window. Play any graphic by pressing its play button. A graphics data can be controlled in three primary ways. The first of these is the live data tab. Any information entered into the live data tab will populate your graphic immediately as shown in the graphic preview window. Additionally, you can click on an element in the preview window to change it from there. You will notice that while the graphic is live, any changes are updated in real time, animating only the elements of the graphic that have been changed. The second primary method of controlling your graphics data is the Multidata tab. Here, you can create a list of all the variations you will need for a graphic in any given broadcast. Select a row in the list to call its data into the graphic in real time, and double click at any time to edit or add a new line. The last method of controlling graphics, external data, will appear on graphics that are set up to receive data from any outside source. There are many ways to drive data to your graphics. In this case, this graphic is meant to display social media comments. We can populate the list by entering our stream's URL. The social media controller comes equipped with numerous options for playback, including instant playout by pressing the play button, building a playlist of vetted comments to be called in quickly, and even outsourcing control to any machine on your network. The social media controller is just one input for driving external data for your graphics. Another is the spreadsheet controller. This controller operates similar to the multi-data tab, except that the data is being driven by an Excel, CSV, or other spreadsheet file on your network. Any saved changes made to the spreadsheet will be reflected inside Vividcast in real time. The Facebook comment and spreadsheet controllers are just two options for driving data to your graphics using Vividcast. Some other inputs include clocks, live chat messages, and more. Video sources for picture-in-picture -picture and video calls can be tied directly to your graphics using webcams, as well as NDI-compatible services such as Skype and Microsoft Teams.
Just make sure NDI is enabled in your video call and any available NDI sources will populate the dropdown. Any transition in your project can be armed by clicking the circle beside its thumbnail in the graphics list. Once armed, the transition will play any time you select a new feed in the switcher. A project's settings can be changed at any time by clicking the Setup button. The setup process in Vividcast works like a step-by-step -step wizard, with each step representing a critical element of your broadcast. The Project tab is where you can select the resolution and frame rate of your broadcast. Live Video is where you will arrange the video inputs for your project. Sources can include webcams, PTZ cameras, capture cards, desktop capture, NDI feeds, and more. Live Audio is where you arrange the audio inputs for your project. When selecting a microphone from the drop-down, you have the option to specify a video track to link the audio device to. There are also options to mute and change audio levels for individual tracks. The Graphics tab is where you can build out all of the dynamic graphics for your broadcast. You have the option of selecting a template from the built-in library, designing a new graphic from scratch using Nublu's dedicated title designer, a full-featured 3D animation software complete with drag-and-drop animations for accelerated graphic production, or importing a graphic from any existing Nublu live or post software, including graphics from other Vividcast projects. You can choose to select an external data source for any graphic, and options for editing the graphic can be found by clicking the button to the right. Here you will see basic options such as renaming and deleting, as well as the option to modify your graphic design in the title designer, and options to connect data to design elements. Graphics from the library come pre-built with external data sources already primed for connection, but in some cases, such as creating your own graphic, you may want to connect data yourself. To do this, simply drag the name of the data field onto the element of your choosing. In this case, we've modified a basic lower third to display Facebook comments by dragging the message field onto the subtext. The Media tab is where you can add standard media files, such as JPEGs and movie files, to your broadcast. There are options for looping and muting video and audio files. Like any graphic, you can make quick adjustments to their size and location by dragging its handlebars in the graphic preview window. The Streaming tab is where you can select an output for your broadcast. All of the most popular online platforms can be selected from the drop-down, as well as a basic RTMP SRT option, and a link to the instructions page for each platform is displayed below the drop-down. You can also choose an option from the output format drop-down to change your output resolution. Finally, the recording tab gives you options for choosing how to make local recordings of your project. When enabled, the record output switch will save your recordings as a video file. The Record All Input switch will save each video and audio source as a separate track, making it easy to perform edits in post-production. If you ever need any more information, each tab comes with a link to a relevant help article, which can be reached by clicking the question mark. Once you're ready, start your show by clicking the Stream and or Record buttons on the menu bar. New Blue Vividcast enables your broadcast to flow by putting broadcast graphics, intuitive UI, and related solutions all in one place. This video just scratches the surface of what's possible using Vividcast. To learn more about Vividcast or New Blue's other live and post-production solutions, talk to your local reseller or visit newblueinc.com today.